Hello, hello, I'm the official name raider. My job is to look through the first page of Google, review the nicknames provided by the internet, and then give my recommendations at the end. Today we're looking at Umbreon, and there will be a little bit of pairings between Umbreon and Espeon nicknames that we've covered in the last episode. Also, because Pokemon Go exists, that kind of interferes a little bit with some of the nickname options, but uh, we're going to try our best anyway. Okay, so I'm totally fine with the name of Greed. We've gone over this style of nickname before with like the whole Bayonetta style, Binding of Isaac, blah blah. Um, I think Greed's good. I think it could work. I'm thinking about like dark types. And I'm like, okay, for a dark type, I guess it could make sense because, you know, thieving or something like that. And I guess if it was a name for the Poco comic, that works too. I don't think it's bad. I'm just trying to think on if there's anyone else out there that maybe it would fit better but in general it's still a fine nickname so i feel like between espion and umbreon umbreon has a lot more nicknames and better options and stuff out there and i've seen eclipse in the past and i know that's on my little list for today's episode so i think it's fine it works there's a lot of good names revolving the moon that i think you can get away with and this is just kind of a perfect example I do like the idea of Salem, but I also hate the idea of Salem. I like it because, you know, what it means and all that. And I don't know how many people are going to hear the name Salem without thinking of, like, the witch trials and stuff like that. So I think it's perfect because it's got the dark history or atmosphere or whatever to it, and I really like that. But I'm also just thinking how many people in the world out there are there named Salem. That's the only thing that's bothering me. Is it a common nickname? I don't think I've ever met a Salem before. We'll go ahead and acknowledge commitment for the same reason we talked about greed. Um, I don't know if I think it's as interesting of a word or if I like it as much, but we'll say it just in case that appeals to you. Okay, so I like the idea of Adam and Eve purely for just like the play on words and it's clever, but like at the same time, I also feel like it has nothing to do with Umbreon like he's explaining how it has stuff to do with Umbreon but I'm like I don't know about that I think you could apply that to any Pokemon period that has an adamant nature if you want to make that joke Eve like the abbreviation for evening like that's true but I can guarantee you by reading Adam and Eve no one's gonna think that nor are they going to think about the evolutions. They might think about the evolutions because Eve, EV, so like maybe Adam and Eve, I don't know. Like it's interesting, so I like it for that, but I'm unsure how I, I would never use it. I'm going to acknowledge Luna just because I know it's going to be a popular choice and I'm going to see it 50 billion times. Do I care about a nickname? Not really. It's a normal name in life. It's associated with the moon, sure. But, um,. It's nothing special is basically what it comes down to. If you want to use it, cool, that's fine. But um, there's probably about 12,000 other Umbreons with the exact same name. And I guess we'll acknowledge Nocturne for kind of the same thing. Like, there's going to be a lot of similar styled nicknames that work for Umbreon. And, like, they're fine and they work. I just don't think they're really that special. I'm just talking about it because I know if I don't, someone's going to say something about it in the comments. And even then, sometimes people will acknowledge things I've said in videos in the comments and be like, what about Nocturne? Be like, have, did you watch the video? I don't Kingdom Hearts, so um, if this is a thing that you think is a good example or whatever, tell us down below and if you want to use it, use it. Okay, so um, we will acknowledge Equinox right here because we saw Equinox and Solstice as a pairing with Espeon and Elrond and that was one I wanted to talk about. But I also want to draw your attention away real quick just for the this comment. Another Greek god themed nickname, never seen that before. Thank god it's not just me. But I also realized upon looking at this name that it's literally just one letter away from Cerberus. So uh, those Greeks weren't very creative apparently when they were naming people. We've seen Lunesta before, I think, for, like, Butterfree, and, um, if that's really what you want, sure, I don't think it's... I don't know, I'm half and half on it. I'm pretty sure my opinion before was, like, more curiosity about other medication-based names, and it's like, it... sure? In a weird way, I think it almost might fit Hypno, considering it's about sleeping. You could name Hypno z or something. I don't know, the point is... It... I get it, I understand it, but I have very little opinion of it as a nickname. 
Midnight, there's another one I'm probably going to see a million times. Do I care for his nickname? Not overly, only talking about it because I know someone's going to say it if I don't. It exists. We've seen Nightwing before, I'm pretty sure, for Golbat. So, um, I think it fits better with maybe something more flying based opposed to Umbreon. The only real thing they have in common is the night part, and that's basically where it ends. I'm pretty sure we've seen Polaris before for other Pokemon. I don't even remember what it was. It was something to do with stars, probably Clefable or something. Do I care about it? Eh, it exists. We're getting a lot of astrology here for Umbreon. There's Orion, another star, if you want to do that. Okay, I'm curious about the idea of Darkseid as a nickname, because um, even though you might say Darkseid of the Moon, I think most people when they hear Darkseid are just going to think Star Wars. And I'm just curious how many um, how many Pokemon you could name Darkseid as a Star Wars reference. Alright, I'm getting tired of seeing it. I don't think I've talked about it. If you want to name it Shadow, whatever. I don't think it's a good nickname at all, honestly. Even if you name your real dogs in real life Shadow, I think that's a terrible name, and I don't like that. And that's reflective. I just don't care. It's not interesting. I'm tired of reading it. If I, I don't want to read it anymore, don't put it in the comments, please. Okay, these two we'll acknowledge together. Um, Sailor Moon, I'm positive we've seen for... Um, Clefable. It feels. I know we've seen it before, I just don't remember who. I'm pretty sure it's Clefable. And then I like Perfect Dark. Perfect Dark is probably the one I've. the only one I've seen today thus far that I actually like enough to want to write down on the list and save it for the end of the video. I like the idea of it. I think Perfect Dark is just kind of a good name in general. It fits Umbreon in its pure black form, and it's a nice little reference too, and just kind of a clever thing, because. Again, how many Pokemon do you name after actual video games? Sailor Moon, on the other hand, like, I think it fits Clefable. I don't really care about it as far as an Umbreon thing. I get it, they're both really the same thing, because they're both associated with the moon, but I think the pink coloration kind of fits Sailor Moon a little bit better than black. Okay, I like this one too, but not quite for the reason they described, so... I actually use Blackjack, but I use Blackjack for my Mudsdale because when I got Mudsdale, I was trying to think of famous war horses or something like that, and that was just one that came up. And it's also just the name of a card game, so it's just in general, it's a good name. But it also fits Umbreon because Umbreon's all black, so I think that one works. I think it's a good fit. Okay, I knew I was going to recognize it the second I saw it because I couldn't remember it off the top of my head. Uh, Tamau, I assume is how it's pronounced. That's also in reference to the anime. I don't quite remember if it was the trainer, because I want to say in that episode it was just one little girl, Sakura. So if there was another, I forgot. It's been a little bit. Um, but yeah, it's reference to the anime. That's also what they used for Pokemon Go if you want to evolve your Eevee into Umbreon. That's a quick way to do it, but ever since they introduced the whole buddy system, uh, it kind of doesn't really matter anymore. Alright, so if it wasn't for the fact that I actually just watched something relevant to this recently, I probably wouldn't have gotten it. Um, that's the bad guy thingy from the Doctor Strange film, and he also shows up in apparently the 1994 Spider-Man cartoon. I didn't remember that as a kid, but uh, apparently Doctor Strange was there. I think it's okay if you want to use that as a nickname. Um, as far as for Umbreon, I do I mean, I guess it works. I'm just trying to think on if there's anyone else that would fit better. Someone more demonic, maybe? I think... I'm not sure why this thing has five votes down unless people were just really upset and they decided Umbreon wasn't red enough or something. Because, like, my mind kind of jumped to Darmanitan a little bit. But, uh, in general, I think it's actually an okay name. I don't think it deserves the five dislikes. But I also think everything on this site is kind of bad. Okay, um, I think Padfoot is okay. I mean, in general, the name's not the best, but I guess it's a little bit better than Sirius Black. So, I think it works. Black Dog, it embodies, so like it fits perfectly. The only thing it comes down to is how much do you like the name Padfoot, and that's about it. But in other words, I don't really think there's anything wrong with it. Alright, so there's a, uh, a lot here, just uh, highlighting that. This thing is very popular. Uh, I want to emphasize firstly jesus fucking christ it's in the name umbreon don't name it umbra that's stupid. 
It's not entirely that stupid. It could work Pokemon Stadium style, like if you named it fucking Choke or Champ or Haunt or something. It's not that stupid. I don't know. I just feel like people aren't doing it that way, so that's kind of why like my instinct was Rage. Dark Stalker is a interesting choice. Okay. Um, I didn't think it was possible that he could possibly take something so bait. You know, I'm not surprised, actually, in reality. I see this kind of shit all the time, where someone will be like, Aqua! It means water! It's, so there's, like, lots of dumb shit like that on the internet that I have to see. So, Eclipse! Inspired by an Eclipse! I don't leave my house, guys! My parents are brother and sister. Jesus. Nothing on here is good, not even a tiny bit. The Eclipse thing was just the thing that gave me a headache. The next worst one was Light. I understand where his mind's coming from, because like, oh look, it makes the light, but that doesn't mean it's a fucking good nickname, Jesus. I'm also kind of surprised it took this long to see a Dark Souls joke, but at the same time, I wasn't really expecting a Dark Souls joke when I hit the record button, so um... If you want to be like the most annoying person on the entire planet, name your Umbreon Dark Souls and you'll probably get beat up in real life. I only want to acknowledge this just because this comment was actually funnier than the name Dumbreon. When I saw Dumbreon, I just kind of like laughed a little bit under my breath, but ROASTED TO HELL AND BACK! That made me laugh. That's, that's a stupid name, but I, it made me laugh, so... I also saw like Umbreonna like Umbreon plus Rihanna, and I thought that was corny too. Okay, so we've reached the bottom of this, but before we end for the day, I just want to show this because we don't really plan on coming back to it. Um, I am going to go dig up that one Reddit thread with the other evolutions. Because despite seeing the overabundance of moon and astrology stuff force-fed to us via Umbreon, this guy had a different idea and decided to name Umbreon after Jupiter, and we haven't gone over the planet motif or the uh, the gemstone motif yet, which we've seen in all the other previous episodes. So yes, if you want to do the planets, this guy had a cool idea for him, and he went with Jupiter for Umbreon. I didn't actually remember that, but hey, it's a little bit better than just naming it Moon or Luna. Um, I guess we could acknowledge Midna. Uh, I don't really have much of an opinion on it. The only thing I can really see in common is the dark body with glowing etchings. But even then, that's not really on all over Midna or whatever. That's like, you know, most of her is kind of gray opposed to black. I don't know if that was what he was going for or if he was just like, I like Midna and that's it. And if that's, the, if that's all there is to it, that's fine. Like, you can name it after Midna. People are going to get it. People like Midna. Toy Princess was a good game. Okay, going back and ending on the Umbreon page, because that was it for the Reddit thread. We're going to close off by checking the spreadsheet, as always. So, the gemstone motif, unfortunately, kind of hits a dead end here when it comes to Umbreon, because it doesn't have anything. It just says Moonstone. And I think that's a bad idea, because Moonstones are real things in Pokemon. But, thinking about it, I have seen Obsidian like 50 trillion times, and by itself, I don't like it. Like, I don't really care, I don't think it's interesting, but if you want to pair it with Gemstones, that's a little bit better than Moonstone. If you can think of anything else, please provide a suggestion, I'd like to hear it. But, um... That's a, I guess that's the biggest hurdle for the gemstone thing. If you've been going through that and you're like, oh man, Umbreon, then you're like, oh, shit. Uh, the rest is not interesting. I've seen too many things of like Dark Death or Dark Cat or whatever, and it's just dumb. So we've seen a lot, a lot, a lot as far as Umbreon. And not every single one of these is going to make it in the end, like specifically Eclipse, Nightshade, not Nightshade, Eclipse, Shadow, Shade any sort of thing like that umbra which we've seen like they're all over the fucking internet they're common as rice they're not worth talking about so i'm not gonna like highlight them as like yeah that's a good one so um also thinking about it i had dark side written on here and i'm talked about star wars and i was like is literally a space the thing that differentiates like let's say dark side the character from superman versus the dark side 
it's kind of trippy how a space can completely change the way you think about things, but um, that was there. Other words, I kind of wanted to highlight Darmamu again, Padfoot again, Perfect Dark, which I actually really, really like. And then I also have Fortune. I don't quite know why. It's got under my assumption that someone just named it Fortune, and I saw it in a previous episode and I wrote it down. We also saw Commitment and Greed, so again, if you want another word like that, it works. Uh, Solstice and Equinox, we saw, and those are good. And in the Espeon episode, we saw Vodka Cider. Cider Vodka. And I wanted to bring that up again in this episode in case, I don't know, you didn't see the Espeon one and it interests you. I think together you can pair things like that because Espeon and Umbreon are always associated together. Personally, I don't use any of that. One of the first nicknames I ever came up with by myself that wasn't like stadium style was Mayday. And that was based off the James Bond character of the same name. Now, it's nothing to do with because Har Har, she's a black girl, and that's the extent of it. When I was a kid, I used to play a game called The World's Not Enough. And in that game, she is dressed entirely in black, like that. Kind of makes her look almost like a ninja, even that, that little footage bit, you can barely see her. The N64 is a great system. But uh, yeah, that's that was the character I used to play as all the time in that game, and as a result, ended up being one of my favorite characters. So uh, that was kind of it. It wasn't just because Black Arrow, it was because World's Not Enough. But um, I love it as a nickname. Mayday, just as a name, also is a good name, and you could apply it to others, and it holds meaning and stuff like that. So I think it's a really good choice. I'm never going to change it for the world. So um, yeah, that's, a, that's my personal thing. Any other ideas and suggestions you guys have, feel free to put in the comments below, and we can keep talking about Umbreon. If you have any sort of paired ideas that you could work with both Espeon and Umbreon, let's keep those in mind too, so this way we can come up with some cool new ideas, or just any other ideas that could work for the whole evolution line, like the gemstones of the planets. Those were good ideas too, and I like thematics like that. I admire it, and I think they're very cool. But, uh, we'll see you guys with the next episode.